more tips for Lumix users. Here are the exposure tools available on Lumix. You have your Instagram, even though I don't think this is suitable for video work. So I mostly use it for stills. We're basically exposing to the left for dark and exposing to the right for bright. You also have a vector scope, even though it's only used to check white balance. And as you can see, we can switch colors and the vector scope will display it. Next, we have the waveform monitor. As you can see here, really powerful tool when it comes to exposure. And you basically increase your lighting or your aperture. It goes up and down and gives you an idea on how bright or dark your scene is. Really handy. You also have zebras. As you can see, you can toggle on or off. You have the zebras on the screen. Next, you have the luminance spot meter. When you turn it on, you will have this square on your screen that you basically move using the directional keys. You put it on your subject. So it's gonna compute and display the number of stops on the screen as you can see. We have plus three stops, meaning that we are overexposed by three stops. And as you can see, as we reduce the light, the number of stops decreases. And by the way, if it's in VLOG, I always suggest overexposing by one to two stops to get the best results, except if you are shooting bright skies. By the way, it shows stops in VLOG, but when you switch to regular shooting modes like natural, for example, now it's displaying in percentage instead of stops. That's quite a lot of options, but you still have more. False colors. False colors is built into the new S12 camera, but if you have the older S1H, you can also upload the lot directly into your camera. And I did right here. Let me know in the comments if you need a video on how to do that. But as you can see, I have false color along with four other lots uploaded into the S1H. And as you can see, if we toggle false color, now we have false color. And this is an even more advanced exposure tool.